this so this is uh, for, first of all I so I when I ran the New Haven Land Trust I see Jason here he spent a lot of time helping us at the New Haven Land Trust w uh, worked a lot on creating uh, historical information and environmental information on some uh, permanent signs in our nature preserves and you think it's easy to do this as someone that's never done this before but if you want to get the details right if you want to make the materials engaging for the public if you want to make it last for many many years it is a lot of work and it's the work doing the research talking with people developing the materials it's the artistic work i mean this is a re remarkable and you, and you look inside i kept being distracted you were you were talking and i was listening to what you were saying but also was very engaged with actually the historical information inside of here uh it, it's just beautiful and you also want to make sure that um, you're dotting every I and crossing every T. I remember at the unveiling of all of our signs, I said to people, I don't want to know at this point if there's a typo in our materials because there's so much work that's been put into it. The nice thing is I think you can fix some of the materials if there is a typo, but I didn't find any when I was looking at your website, so well done. The second thing is I actually worked for almost five, four, four years across the street here. Uh, the New Haven Land Trust office, city seat office, and uh, New Haven Farms office were right across the street. So I spent a ton of time, a ton of time walking this corridor, going downtown to get a bite to eat at lunch. And had I only known about this historical, uh, these historical treasures, you know, you know about Ungers, you know about... Um, uh, Lucibella's, you, you know that uh, about Ferraro's uh, as historical um, uh, assets of the city, but you don't know the details of the people that work to create uh, these gems in our community. And about Lindsay Park, you, you mentioned some uh, some details about the park, but uh, so uh, was it uh, Joshua Lindsay? Um, Joseph. Joseph Lindsay, born right across the street here in 1922 uh, and died in 1945 uh, at Iwo Jima uh, in, uh, in World War II. And um, this park was named after him and I didn't know that until just this morning when I was doing a little research about this. Uh, so I wanna say thank you to all of you for your work putting this together um, because you, you highlight the historical value of our city. But on, on top of that, I think you, you in particular highlight the, the different uh, backgrounds that so many people come from that are a part of our community. Uh, and the, the heritage, you know, we talk about the Ethnic Heritage Center that brings, brings together so many different groups uh, that have come to New Haven for so many different reasons. Uh, and it, you uplift everyone, not just in this walk, but you have a downtown walk, you have a, a downtown north walk, you have a Worcester Square walk, you have a Dixwell South walk. Uh, you're uplifting so many stories of people that uh, have made our community a wonderful, wonderful place to live and uh, will carry that spirit many years forward. So I appreciate you including me in this and more importantly, appreciate you, the work that you're doing to, uh, to share our, our history with so many people in our city. Project of the Ethnic Heritage Center. Cut. Woo -hoo!